It is lit in Lisbon, literally. Bom dia, and welcome to beautiful Lisbon, Portugal. I'm Chef Brianca, and I'm here to discover the history and culture of Portugal through its delicious food. My friend Zach from Contiki, who's a foodie expert, and he's gonna show me all the delicious eats. Are you ready? So ready. Let's do this. Freak it out, I'm freaking out. We're at Time Out Market. 3.9 million people visited here last year. So, does the food match the hype? You can find every different type of cuisine in the world right here. This is where we're gonna discover the Moorish influence of what he's cooking. Whoa! This is so cool. What we're about to eat is an old peasant dish from Portugal. So you take the stale bread, soak it in water for a long time so it got okay. soft again. Uh, and then you take the pork fat and you'd really slowly cook it with the meat for four hours, five hours, something like that. And at the end, you get this. Apparently, there's no actual dish that is Moorish and Portuguese influenced, but there's a lot of influences from the Middle East that influence the dishes, like almonds and oranges and spices. At the beginning it was only for Africans, like people from Angola, Mozambique, and they start coming and liking the flavors, the food, you know, and today it's like this, we have pop-ups in New York, we have a restaurant in Leeds, yeah, yeah. UK, yeah. The popular peri-peri is Indian via Mozambique via Portugal. Who knew that three cultures made up this incredibly popular spicy sauce. I think you'll like this next spot. We're at the Campo de Orique, the markets, Ooh. and this is where locals have come to buy their fresh fruit, their meat, the fish. Oh, I'm excited. Everything like that, so. Should I try it? I feel like this is a real testament to the culmination of cultures within Portugal. This is my first pastel de nata going in. So I've taken Priyaga to one of my favorite spots in the city, the LX Factory. It's really vibrant, full of bars, cafes, restaurants, bookshops, everything you could want that's creative in one space. Portugal has been on my list for a long time and I don't think there's a better way to have experienced it yeah. than through the food. I've learned so much about the Portuguese culture through just their food. There's been so much influence from other cultures around the world. If I could describe Portugal in three words, it would be diverse, eclectic, and scrumptious. 